6 o'clock at Friendship Fountain here in Jacksonville on the South Bank. We're hearing from the residents of Fairway Oaks tonight. They say they now have hope after a two-month investigation led to the mayor walking through the Northwest Jacksonville neighborhood. Well, residents reached out to the I-team in May asking for help with their cracked and sinking homes. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker joining us in the newsroom after being there as the mayor walked through nearly a dozen homes. Francesca. Kent and Joy, these residents came armed with reports and facts to back up the fact that their homes were built on parts of a landfill when Habijacks created these homes and built them in the year 2000. These residents are fed up. They've gone to City Council, and now they've gone to the mayor, who heard their cries tonight. Surrounded by signs and residents who have been crying out for help for more than a decade. Living nightmare. I have had dreams that I wake up, my house is sinking in the ground. Wednesday afternoon, the residents of Fairway Oaks learned help was on the way. I was able to walk side by side with him and talk to him as we go along. Shirley Dempsey was one of the many residents who showed Mayor Lenny Curry some of the issues she has been facing after reports showed inspectors found more than six feet of trash under her home years ago. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It's like it's not really concrete. From overly watered concrete to the cracking slab going from east to west in almost every home. Uh, one of the things I'm going to push and encourage is Happy Jacks to get over here now and get on this. Yes. Um, uh, and I'll circle back with you guys very shortly. Though the mayor couldn't make any promises, he did say what he saw was troubling, and he did promise to ask Habijacks to come see the issues for themselves. Residents are now hopeful that change is coming. We've had hope before, and we've always had hope that something was going to actually good come out of this or whatever, but basically, until we actually see action actually being done, until we actually see something on paper, to we actually see, I'm saying, something being done, we're not going to just take anyone's word for it. If Habitat is busy building new homes, that those homes could be used for the families here. Uh, I guess every option's on the table. We've got to sit down and vet it and discuss it. Look, my, 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 manage, my management style is on any issue that I'm trying to solve is every single option ought to be laid on the table. And to see and look in his eyes when he saw that, I myself had to walk away because I saw what was in his heart when he saw that. Who could look at that and not feel it? And Habijax has been extremely forthcoming when it comes when it comes to reaching out to them. In May, we did hear from them. That's when they told us that this issue stemmed from a lack of maintenance. We haven't heard from them since then. I have made repeated calls and emails to Habijax. Haven't heard back today. We even gave them a, a deadline of 4 p.m. We have not heard back from them. But again, the mayor will be speaking with the Homeowners Association President Nathaniel Borden before Friday next week. For now, reporting live, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Fran. Well, when something's smoking and